We, we selected Mio because we were looking for a platform that would help us not just to keep track of our assets, but to actually form the heart of our solution. It had to be integrated with a very complex ecosystem of other components that essentially allow us to provide our services to our clients. Mio takes a different take on just pure asset management. It's not just about being able to have a pipeline of content coming in the door, going through, and then going out the other side. This is more about a sophisticated approach, an interoperable application that sits within the heart of a wider ecosystem, it allows us to support the various business models that we've got, and essentially underpins a very, very complex workflow that takes place within the organization. We've already started seeing benefits from rolling out Mio. We have our first deployment already up and running in the US, in North America. We've got our first client onboarded and we're processing assets live through our content cloud factory. What we're looking to do over the, the coming months into next year is very much to expand on that and continue to transition our business onto our cloud platform through Mio and being able to then start to look at addressing the complexities of the wider international market. We have our general availability release of AnyView Cloud coming in December of this year. And if I look at the future milestones from there, it's, it's really about expanding our services and increasing our deep library of content to make that available to our clients, partly through strategic partnerships, the likes of which we have with Akamai, to be able to take our content services out globally beyond North America, where we'll first be rolling it out, to be able to provide these services on a truly global basis.